Uh, do you know this is a bad idea already? Right. No, it doesn't. No, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. What did I say? During the meanwhilst. During the meanwhilst. No, no, no. Like that at all. Well, hello. It's uh, Dexter and me coming to you today from a rather damp, barren mountain. Uh, high above Swansea to the north of the city and we've come to take a picture of this very very unattractive uh, stone bridge. And, uh, Dex is now trying to get into the stream. Uh, Dex, no no, don't you go in there whatever you do. Um, come on. Um, and I thought it might make a nice photo. I was wrong, it's not going to make a nice photo, but what it will make for is a nice little uh, exercise, I think. I've just bought myself a new Benro geared head. Uh, I've always wanted a geared head for my landscape photography. Uh, and my uh, three-legged thing air head, which is now seven years old, was starting to get a little bit tired and uh, not it wasn't struggling to hold the kit, but making fine adjustments was getting a bit tricky um, so I figured I'd invest in a new head and I thought well I might as well get the geared head that I want so it was a toss up between the Manfrotto and the Benro and I went for the Benro one um, right then I'm gonna have to get into this stream in a minute uh, what I want to do uh, the bridge is there uh, behind you uh, there are some nice rocks here and there's a nice uh, like part of a branch which has got wedged in there and I figured that, that might help to tell a little bit of a story, perhaps about, you know, the stream, what lies upstream, uh, that sort of thing. So I'm going to get down, get down low and dirty uh, to these rocks, set up there, um, wide angle lens. So my 23mm lens, I think, though I might put the 32 64 and after, not sure. This is not a long lens shot. Uh, really sort of... Um, concentrate on these rocks in the foreground uh, make a you know a subject of them um, and uh, yeah settings will be the usual uh, f16 where I live on this camera um, shutter speed uh, whatever an ISO of 100 I might shoot a couple of images and focus stack not sure yet we'll see how the one image looks uh, I prefer to capture it in one image um, Whoa, don't pull. And uh, we see Dex is a little bit excited because there are, there are sheep around. And he gets very excited when he sees sheep. Right, the things, the things I do for this channel. And then like seven people watch. Uh, you're not going in the water, mate, you know. You stay there. If I fall in here... Hey, at, at least views will go up, I would have thought. You stay where you are, you're not coming in the stream. Ah, 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 you stay there. <laughs> oh god, this is... Oh, do you know this is a bad idea already? Right. No, it doesn't... Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too slippery. Right, then this... I think this is what I want to set up. This is quite nice. Because you've got this... This branch. There's also a Smirnoff ice bottle, which uh, <laughs> I'll probably clone out later. So I am not going to pick that up today. I'm not in the mood. Standing in this stream of picking up other people's litter today. Thank you very much. No, thank you, sir. Right. And the beauty of these, this geared head is that it makes adjustment an absolute doddle. As long as you know which, Oi! <laughs> as long as you know which, which lever you're pulling and twisting. <laughs> uh, right, there we are. I'm going to level the camera off. Oh, this is so much easier than the ball head. I can imagine it might be a bit of a ball ache if you're in a rush, but there are like um, there is like a quick release um, mechanism then, so you can. Um, more quickly uh, adjust the head. Right, I've got a bright area up here which I don't really like in the top right of the image, so I may have to do some cloning after. 
Uh, I'm going to polarise, take the glare off. Oh, there. Let's have a look. This is giving me uh, I don't know what it is. It's not bump. Hang on, that's the wrong setting. So F16. It's giving me a quarter of a second. Let's try that. See what that looks like. Two second timer. Well, it looks nice enough, but it's just not much of an image. Not much of an image at all. Let's try a little, little bit further back. I want to get low because I want to emphasise these foreground rocks in this sort of little little cascade. That's better. All right, focus on the little cascade thingy. Where's my focus marker going? There it is. Focus on there. F16 ISO 100. Quarter of a second. Dexter's looking rather majestic up at the top of the hill. Up there, bless him. He's keeping an eye out for sheep. You keeping a look out for sheep, Dex? Make sure there's no killer sheep around. Right, I think what I might do now, I might try this with with a filter. I left my I left my filter up there, so now I shan't bother. What I'll do is I'll put the um, ISO down to 50 and that's going to give me I have no idea what that means uh, shut the speed 1.3 I think that's a third of a second a little bit longer again focus on the cascade always focus focus refocus all the time now that's quite nice that is nice I like when you take um, sort of short long exposures of flowing water when you get those sort of little not like fingers you know where the water cascades over rocks you know you operating a camera with one hand and trying to control an excitable border terrier with the other sometimes not the easiest thing to do in the world well for once I think I've actually been quite lucky because it started to rain on my way here and then it stopped Normally it's the other way around, you get, you know, lovely weather, lovely light, and I arrive on destination and it all changes, so, <laughs> a change in fortune today, maybe, maybe, hey, perhaps this is a sign of things to come, if I don't actually fall in here, there we go, whoa, <laughs> that's it then, hey, Dexter Reese, Dex, Dexter, Come here. What did I tell you about going the other side of that bridge? Right, so that's us done here. Uh, Dex still have a little bit of a wander around now, I think. I'll take him for a very short little walk. I can't go far with him. Uh, and yeah, I'll uh, get home and, uh, as usual, pop these on the computer, see what we get. Right, see you back at home. Come on in, you. Oh, ah, here we are again. Happy as can be. Excuse the hat. While filming indoors, this is all for continuity purposes. <laughs> um, uh, I'm filming these videos all over the place at the moment, and uh, I'm probably going to end up shaving my head at some point, so uh, I don't want there to be any sort of issues with that. Right then. Back from uh, our little photo shoot up on the Barren Mountain. I think it's called the Barren Mountain anyway, because it's uh, the mountain on which that chapel that I'm so fascinated with is located. Uh, I'll pop a couple of images of that up now from the past, and that's called Capel a Barren, which is the Barren Chapel. So I'm assuming that the mountain is called the Barren Mountain, but I don't know. All I do know is it's about four miles north of where I live. Um, uh, just outside uh, Pontadewi uh, in the Swansea Valley. 
and uh, it's lovely up there. Uh, when I first started making YouTube videos years ago with my uh, with my Audi TT and uh, Mazda, I used to drive up there and uh, and talk about stuff, and. Um, uh, I never really thought about taking pictures there uh, other than the chapel and then uh, a couple of weeks ago um, uh, we, uh, we risked the wrath of the law by going out for a short drive and um, had a look at the where the stream was and I thought oh, it might make a nice picture. It doesn't make a nice picture to be honest. It's, it's quite um, an industrial stone bridge. The other side of it is all like concrete ramparts and uh, what are those things? They got like boulders in steel cages. What are they called? Ga galleons, is it? Something like that. I don't know. Gabions. I think about something like that. Anyway, it's not a very attractive uh, scene. But um, I went up there and took uh, a couple of pictures anyway. Got a nice picture of a sheep, which uh, which I'll pop up now. Uh, a nice little um, stream scene, and then these two images of um, the stream and the bridge. Uh, it was my first proper outing with my new Benro geared head. Uh, I've been wanting a geared head for my tripod for some time and uh, I've been looking at them and I needed one, one on, on eBay for about, I don't know, 90 quid I think it went for in the end and I didn't get it. Uh, but I decided then to buy a new uh, Benro one and I got the last one in stock in the country, uh, luckily. Um, yeah, so uh, tried that out. And I, I, it's like a revolution, to be honest. Uh, it, it allows for such fine adjustment of uh, of your image that um, I don't know why I didn't get one years and years ago. Anyway, I didn't, but there we are. They are quite slow, that's the only thing. Though you can like um, uh, operate like a quick release system on them. Uh, what I'm getting used to now, though, is which knob does what thing. So uh, one of them goes... Uh, you know sort of like rotate and the other one goes up and down that way and the other one goes up and down that way so uh, you've got three-way adjustment uh, and I'm trying to remember which knob adjusts which um, sort of angle of tilt right um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the little outing uh, anyway um, I certainly did uh, yet again it's uh, not far from the car image uh, the car was literally feet from where I um, took that image. Uh, the only dodgy thing about it was getting in about, I don't know, about six to eight inches of water um, in Wellingtons uh, and hoping that the the little bed of the stream wasn't too slippery, which it wasn't, thankfully. Although I guess if I did fall in, that might make for more views, but I'm certainly not going to do that on purpose <laughs> to, uh, to get more views for my channel. Right, uh, that's that um, for this week. Um, as usual, I'll pop the images or a longer look at the images that we that we shot up now. And uh, yeah, next week, uh, next week's video is hopefully another in-field vlog, uh, and it'll be all about uh, a lone tree that I went to f photograph near um, Carrig Kenyon Castle. Um, over the other side of the Black Mountain in Carmarthenshire. Uh, it all depends on restrictions being uh, lifted and me being able to get there because it's outside of uh, um, my sort of uh, five mile radius. Uh, and I can't risk really going there. Um, I might risk going down to Mumbles. That's only just outside my uh, five mile radius as the crow kind of flies. So uh, I might... Um, risk going down there. Uh, otherwise, the backup plan is... Hang on, I've forgotten what it is. What's my backup plan? I've completely forgotten what my backup plan is. Hang on. I got it written down somewhere. My backup plan is... That's it. Shooting portfolio-worthy images with uh, a phone. So uh, if your only camera uh, is a phone, or it's the only camera you've got with you when you go out, uh, uh, which is often the case these days, and you see something, how do you go about making the best of that uh, image opportunity and turning it into a portfolio or Instagram, uh, or that's, I don't know, some of the stuff you see on Instagram, but into a, um, 
uh, a portfolio standard image. There we are. Uh, so hopefully it'll be a vlog, otherwise it'll be that. So uh, in the meantime, Dexter and I uh, thank you as usual for watching. Uh, we really do appreciate every view we get. Uh, and to be honest, I could probably thank all my viewers uh, personally. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's happened with views on this channel. Um, they went from being in the uh, thousands and sort of, you know, sort of mid to high hundreds down to like um, struggling now to hit, you know, 100 views per video. Don't know why. Uh, guess it's just I no longer satisfy the, uh, the YouTube algorithm and I'm not going to change what I do. If you like what I do, you do. If you don't, uh, yeah. I ain't going to change for the sake of uh, a social media algorithm. Right, that's it. We're off. Uh, see you next Saturday. Take care. Bye-bye. Helen Frey, Helen Frey, Helen Frey, Hey